Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's discussion, we're going to talk about the mixed methods research, particularly the different types of mixed methods research designs. But first, let's have a short recap of what the mixed methods research is. According to Cresswell in 2012, a mixed methods research design is a procedure for collecting analyzing and mixing both quantitative and qualitative methods in a study for purposes of understanding a research problem. Furthermore, it is based on the assumption that the use of both methods provides researchers with a better understanding of the research problem and question than either method by itself. We have to take note that the mixed methods research design involves both quantitative data and qualitative data. After data collection and data analysis is conducted for both quantitative data and qualitative data, both data sets would be able to provide supporting evidences or serve as a basis which would allow the researcher to make a detailed comparison, integration, articulation, and interpretation of the results. This particular design or this particular method is also known as what you would call triangulation. To know more about the nature of mixed methods research designs, you may click here to watch the video. Now at this point, we're going to talk about the different mixed methods research designs. We have to remember that there are six types of mixed methods research designs, namely convergent parallel design, explanatory sequential design, exploratory sequential design, embedded design, transformative design, and multiphase design. However, it should be noted that for this particular video, we're going to focus on convergent parallel design, explanatory sequential design, and exploratory sequential design. Let's talk about the first one. The convergent parallel design involves simultaneous collection of both quantitative and qualitative data which are then merged in order to obtain results to understand a particular problem. So in this particular mixed methods design, both quantitative data and qualitative data are collected at the same time. Also, in this design, one data collection form provides support in order to offset possible limitations of the other collected dataset. Now, it should be noted that while the researcher gathers both quantitative and qualitative data at the same time, in this particular research design, the data analysis are done separately after which the results are compared in order to make the researcher or help the researcher come up with the necessary interpretation in order to have an answer or solution to a particular problem. Let's take for example this situation wherein we're going to determine the factors affecting the teacher's confidence levels towards oral communication. Since the researcher is going to conduct a convergent parallel design, he is expected to collect both quantitative data and qualitative data at the same time. For this example, the quantitative data could be the confidence levels towards oral communication, while the qualitative data could be the experiences of selected participants on various factors that affect the confidence levels towards oral communication. After both datasets have been collected, the researcher then conducts data analysis from there, the results are compared and analyzed in order to come up with a detailed interpretation which would help the researcher come up with a clear understanding and a detailed explanation with regard to the topic or issue being addressed. It should be noted that the strength of this design is that it combines the advantages of each form of data. As such, quantitative data provides generalizability while qualitative data offer information about the context or setting. Next, we have the explanatory sequential design. The explanatory sequential design is a mixed methods research design which involves the collection of quantitative and qualitative data sequentially, which means we follow a particular order or sequence. Also, this research design is conducted in order to provide a more detailed explanation behind the trends observed from collected quantitative data. It should be noted that uh, this is also known as a two-phase model according to Cresswell and Clark in 2011. 
As such, the explanatory sequential design is also considered as one of the most popular forms of mixed methods design in educational research. Let's consider this example wherein we're going to determine the challenges experienced by high school students during online classes. Since this is an explanatory sequential design, the researcher would first conduct quantitative data collection. In this case, the quantitative data would be the challenges experienced during online classes. From there, the researcher would conduct data analysis in order to come up with initial results. Afterwards, qualitative data collection follows. For this example, the qualitative data would be the personal experiences or reasons or explanations of selected participants. The qualitative data would then be subjected to data analysis, after which the interpretation from the results would then be made. Since this is an explanatory sequential design, the role of the qualitative data is to provide support to the quantitative data in the form of detailed explanation as to why certain trends or certain results are like that. And lastly, we have the exploratory sequential design. The exploratory sequential design involves the collection of data sets sequentially. It's similar to the explanatory sequential design. However, in this design, the qualitative data is collected first, followed by the collection of quantitative data. Also, this design is done to explore a phenomenon through qualitative data collection, which is then followed by quantitative data collection in order to explain the relationships in the qualitative data that has been initially collected. Let's consider this example wherein we're going to determine the awareness of high school students towards responsible citizenship. Since this is an exploratory sequential design, the researcher would conduct qualitative data collection first. In this case, the qualitative data would be the perspectives of selected participants towards responsible citizenship. After which, data analysis will then be conducted in order to come up with possible themes or variables, which will then be used as a basis for designing a possible research instrument which will be used for gathering quantitative data. For this example, the quantitative data would be the level of awareness of high school students towards responsible citizenship. After quantitative data has been collected, the researcher then conducts data analysis, which would allow the researcher to come up with an interpretation with regard to the results of both qualitative data and quantitative data which have been gathered. As mentioned earlier, in an exploratory sequential design, the purpose of the qualitative data is to provide a basis or foundation for the instrument, which will then be used as a means for gathering quantitative data. Similarly, once the quantitative data has been collected and analyzed, it will help provide an explanation with regard to determining the relationship of the quantitative data to the qualitative data which has been collected earlier. Now at this point, we're going to answer one particular question. How is exploratory design different from explanatory design? It should be noted that even though both the exploratory and explanatory research designs involve gathering data sets in a sequential manner, there are certain differences. When making comparisons between the explanatory sequential design and the exploratory sequential design, we have to recognize that both designs gather both qualitative and quantitative data. This is because both the explanatory and exploratory sequential designs are forms of mixed methods research designs. Also, both involve sequential process of gathering both data sets and both are conducted to have a deeper understanding of certain issues or problems. When it comes to differences, in the explanatory sequential design, the quantitative data is gathered first, followed by the qualitative data. Whereas in the exploratory sequential design, the qualitative data is gathered first, followed by the quantitative data. Furthermore, in the explanatory sequential design, the qualitative data aims to provide supporting explanations 
to the initial findings from the quantitative data, while in the exploratory sequential design, the qualitative data that is gathered aims to explore possible trends and themes which can be used as a basis for gathering quantitative data. In a nutshell, Mixed Methods Research Designs is a kind of research that is characterized by the collection of both qualitative and quantitative data, allowing the researcher to have a more detailed and clearer understanding of a particular problem. Depending on the objective of the researcher, different types of mixed methods research designs may be used. We have the convergent parallel design, wherein qualitative and quantitative data are gathered at the same time and analyzed separately, after which the results are compared to make the necessary interpretation. We also have the explanatory design, wherein the quantitative data is collected first, followed by the qualitative data, which provides supporting explanations to the initially gathered data. And lastly, we have the exploratory design wherein the qualitative data is collected first to help discover trends and patterns that may be used to gather quantitative data.